I want to kind of do like a little deep dive sure. on GPT. Let's talk, talk about, about that. that. A lot of people are using ChatGPT, but they're not maximizing it. The first thing that we'll do is we'll go to ChatGPT settings to make sure that everybody's settings are correct. You're going to click on settings and then security. And this is what I was telling you about that multi-factor authentication. Yep. This gives you that two-factor authentication. So if somebody tries to log into your ChatGPT account, they'd have to have your authenticator code, which they don't have. And right. I recommend Google Authenticator. So the next thing is data controls. And a lot of people don't know this, but right at the top where it says improve the model for everyone, for everyone it's defaulted to on. And most people are worried just about their data and their information being used to train the model. So being kept up in chat yep. GPT and used to train the model. So you need to turn this off. Connectors is fairly new and it's exciting. You can choose to connect different, your different accounts to chat GPT and then click on enable personalization. And this is about how you and chat GPT are responding to each other. Like how are you working yeah. with each other? And then in the about you put your name, put your occupation, where it says more about you, put your best bio there. And then ChatGPT has recently improved its memory function here. When you have memory on, now ChatGPT remembers things that you've been doing and things that it's been working on with you so that it can recall that memory. And that can be so valuable when you know how to use it. The last thing that I wanna show you is the advanced voice mode on ChatGPT. ChatGPT has these different voices. Pick a different accent. I love soul hey, as a woman. <laughs> That's and fire. spruce, right? I'm ready to go. And they've gotten better. The voices have gotten better. They were really robotic before, but this is my favorite spruce right here, you know?